Jackson 8, and this is my record, Letters for Eliza. that are a little bit uh, you know, more precise and clean. Um, but even when it came to mixing it, like I didn't, I could have paid someone to make it perfect. That just wasn't what this record needed to be. Letters for Eliza needed to be this uh, very earnest expression. Um, not only sonically, but lyrically. And, from an aesthetic point of view, it needed to be the most vulnerable thing that I possibly could do as an artist. Um, we live in a very plastic world. Um, and so on a day-to-day -day basis, everything's so perfected. Um, you know, everything feels so scripted at times to where you know the outcome before you even begin. And I did not want that, um, you know, I didn't want that premeditated, uh, premeditated idea to fall inside of listeners' heads while listening to the record, and that's why there's so many nuanced things going on around it. Um, and that, for me, makes it, you know, imperfect, but it's perfect in its nature because I don't feel that the record could have been anything else. Um, I think if I would have tried to perfect it, I think a lot of the emotion that exists inside of those songs would have been gone. Um, because there were times to where I re-recorded things. Um, and it just didn't have that same feel. And that is exactly what I mean by imperfection. When I try to, when I try to try and continue to try because I do this still, to perfect, perfect things, it doesn't feel the same. And sometimes that is what is ruining art. That's what's ruining music because there's no, emotion inside of the songs like raw emotion and you can even do that with a mix you can even do that with you know the, the engineering that goes into tracking a record you lose that emotion um, and i really wanted these demos because sometimes i feel like that's they're not demos but they're just kind of the original framework with just a nice coat of paint on it. That just brightens it a little bit. I didn't want to sort of break down, you know, bulldoze the, the demos and, okay, let's perfect everything this time around. Um, again, by doing that, I found that it, 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 there was no emotion left in it. And for me as an artist, um, you know, Letters for Eliza was a step for me, maybe a leap, um, so to speak, because I needed to let go of things that were really chaining me down as an artist because I was having an incredible time trying to express myself exactly how I wanted to. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's the core of the record, is being able to 
return to a place to where I feel familiar with myself again as an artist. So, um, yeah, born out of the idea of imperfection. Um, if you haven't heard it, take a listen. Um, I love the record. I think it's fantastic, and I hope you guys are feeling the same way. We'll see you next time, okay? Peace.